Good day, everyone. Uh, let's fix a TV. It has been so long since we fixed TVs. So we have this 32-inch TV that came in for repair. It's a Superman model SM-3388. The TV came in for repair. It's not coming on. It's not doing anything. Here we have a switch at the back. Even if we press the switch, uh, we must have a red light for standby. Here, yeah. yes, meant to have a, a, red, a red light for standby. You can hear the switch which is clicking at the back here. Yeah. This switch, but you don't have any light, you don't have anything, it's plugged on, on power source. So, we have to open this TV and see what is the problem. So that the motherboard of this 32-inch uh, TV, uh, I took out the motherboard, and what I discover, we have a blown-up chip, and we have a missing component which we don't know. So I'll plug the the AC in. Obviously, it's not going to work. What I want to do, I want to check on the big capacitor to see if the bridge rectifier is still working. Working, we have 322 volts, so those four dials which are changing AC to DC, they are still fine. So, the next step is to go on a microscope uh, and we check, we check exactly the problem of this motherboard. I think you can see. Something is not right here. Something is not right here. There's a missing component next to this chip. We have those those uh, diodes in parallel mode, and here we have another uh, blown up chip. And uh, if I do remember, this is the the five volts power supply for the standby, and the driver is gone. So that is the problem with this motherboard. So let's see. Let's see if we can bring this to life. I think I have many motherboards for space. Otherwise, other components looks fine. Even if we fail to fix this one, I think I have other 32-inch motherboards. We can, we can swap with another working one. So in any case, the TV is going to be fixed. Uh, let's take out that chip. Uh, the chip is welded on the motherboard. And you can't put, take it out the way we want. We have some bin layers here. The chip is out. I want to check for short uh, on that coil to ground. And the short, there's no short.
So, and here, we don't know what this chip, don't know what was here. So, are we able to fix this or is it a matter of wasting time? What I would do is very simple. Because I know this power supply is the 5 volts for standby. I'll plug in here. Uh, let's lower the voltage here on the variable power supply to 5 volts. Five volts, two amps. You can see on the screen. Now, now it's plugged in on power source. I'll plug this cable. I want to supply five volts straight to that coil. Just to see if the processor is still alive. I'll do that. Check here. As soon as I plug with, I take out. We plugged. I take out. I plug the 5 volts to that coil. I take out. I plug in. Let's try to power on. Uh, power on. And it's changing to green, you see. So the motherboard still have life. So now we need 5 volts there. We need 5 volts there. What we can use? Huh? What we can use? Do we have 12 volts? Maybe we can go in different direction. Do we have 12 volts on that? Those motherboards, most of them, uh, they must have 12 volts here. And we have 12 volts. So, what I will do, today we use a linear regulator. You know, 7805. Let me look for a linear regulator and we try to improvise here. Yeah, let's do it. I found this linear regulator here. It's a 7805. So let's try to do it on our own way. Maybe we can. Or we can't. So I'm happy because we now we, we still have a working processor. So what I would do, I want to check out this linear regulator from this board. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's good. Let's check out here. Good. That's the our regulator 7805. So here we have three pins. The first pin is the, that the input pin. 
which must have voltage range from around 7 to 35 volts and we have the middle pin which is the ground and we have output which is outputting 5 volts so you have to keep that in mind and we must have a heat sink obviously we must have a heat sink So what I will do, the red wire, the red wire is the input, the black is going to be the ground. Do you think this is going to work? Like putting a linear regulator on a switching power supply. Huh? Who oh, this gonna work? So red wire is the input. Which is pin number one. So I just finish putting uh, a regulator. So what we've done here, this is a linear regulator, uh, AOM7805 linear regulator, which I, which we improvise and put on a switching power supply. Pin number one is the input. Uh, pin number one. What have I done here? I think I've done something wrong. Pin number one is the input. Yeah. I've done something wrong here. But uh, we can rectify this. We still have a chance to rectify this before we test. Because pin number one should be the input and should be come from the the twelve volts here. And pin number three, the output, there we must have five volts. Good. Uh, I'm sure that the configuration, but you can check. We can check. You can check even in Google. Let's check on Google. Uh, 7805. P number one input, P number two ground, P number three that the output. So I think we are in the right direction. So on the input we have 12. On the output of the regulator is, is 5 volts. So we can test. And we have a light. Our regulator is not heating up because we put a heat sink. Let's try to power it on. I'm expecting this light to change from red to green or blue. On. 
and we have green light. Now it's staying green. Let's check some voltages. Just to make sure that we have a working board here before I put it back on TV. On this coil, we have one volt. On the backlight circuit, we have uh, 38 volts, 35, 34, 30 volts, okay. Everything seems to be fine and okay. And here it's not heating up, it's just cold. Okay. So what I will do, I'll power off the motherboard off. It's changing. Check the behavior of the LED. Now it's red. Now it's green. Red. Now green. So what I would do, I'll put you all together and we'll come back for the final test. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, I've put all together and the good the good part we have a standby light. You see that red light? This one. Uh, this one. We have red light, and what I want to do, I'll power on the TV on the Samsung. He has written Superman, and it's lighting Samsung. And our TV is working fine. Huh? Uh, I'm sure we can change everything. That's the menu. We can change the input. Different sources. So everything is working fine. So that's how you can improvise a, a dead TV. I wonder why. Because if you check here on the back here, it's a return Superman. But it's lighting. When you put it on, it's saying it's a Samsung TV. So what I would do, I will stop this video. At least you have learned something how you can improvise if you don't have the driver. Because those are drivers, they are hard to get. They are hard to get, so you have to come with a way of how to, to treat the situation. Uh, in our case, we use a linear regulator in a switching power supply, which I believe is more efficient and is going to work a longer period of time because we take all the necessary condition for the chip to die soon. We improvise the heat sink. It will spread out the heat so quickly um, and everything will be fine. So don't forget to share our videos to your beloved friends and relatives and see you on the next repair. Bye.